Hey guys, welcome to this session. Uh, our topic is human nutrition. Uh, we are still discussing about the different types of food substances and the, their functions in a human body. Uh, in the past video, we saw the minerals, we saw the various types of minerals. We said that there are two types of minerals, macro minerals and the micro minerals. We also saw various kinds of all these macro minerals and the micro minerals and their functions and the, their deficiency in the human body. So moving on today, let's see the other different types of food substances. Uh, we'll talk about the roughage. Now, roughage is this, uh, basically the dietary fibers that can be obtained from the digestible parts of various plants. So these fibers are the ones that make up this kind of food substances that are known as roughages. Now the sources of all these include the foods such as the fruits, uh, beans, cabbage, spinach, cassava, whole baked potatoes, and the uh, many more of the others are the good sources of all these roughages. As you can see there, fruits, beans, and the cassavas are just some of the examples of sources of roughage. Now the function of these roughages, the main function that uh, they help in the passage of food and pieces through the gut by the aiding contraction of the gut muscles. So basically, these are the fibers that assist the contraction and the uh, movement of all the gut muscles in order to allow the good passage of the food and the feces through the gut. Moving on, let's see the other food substance that is water. Uh, this is a compound that contains elements of hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, we can know uh, where water can be obtained from various water bodies. Uh, so those all are just sources of water. But pure water can be obtained uh, maybe after boiling and filtering the water from the various water bodies or processing from the various industry. Now let's see the functions of water. You find just few functions of water in a human body, specifically in digestion. Uh, the first one is that they help in digestion of food. So they assist uh, the water simply to assist in the digestion of food as in order the various food substances can be digested easily. So without water, uh, the digestion process can be a little bit difficult. The second one is that used in the transportation of material in the body. Also water assists or helps in the movement of various materials that are needed by the body are transferred from various body places or various body parts so as they can be used respectively to such places. The third one that used as a solvent in chemical reactions, there are various body chemical reactions that take place in the body, whereby water is essential for these various chemical reactions. So it's clear guys, thank you for listening to this short video. We briefly discussed the two food substances, the last ones, the roughage and the water. Thank you.